Hi, my name is Taylor Allen. Um, I'm currently living in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. I work at uh, Seafood Express, a transport company. I am the HR administrator here for the company, and I'm so excited uh, to have the opportunity to send this video in for Jack.org to become a future potential leader and an advocate for you guys in mental health. I'm very passionate about it and I'm excited to share my story and my experience with you guys and the knowledge that I have and also to have the opportunity to learn from you guys and to grow um, and hopefully become a lead speaker in your organization. So I've done a little uh, PowerPoint presentation here today um, just to kind of guide me through the questions that you guys are looking for here in the next few minutes. All right, so what does mental health uh, mean to you and why is it important to talk about? Um, it's so important to talk about to help end the stigma around um, mental health being a bad thing. I hate that it has that title and I understand um, to our parents and our grandparents back then, um, times are very different. Today we don't have to um, be quiet about it and keep it to ourselves and keep it on the inside. We can share our stories and help um, those who are struggling in the dark come out and find and find the resources and help that they need. Um, mental health is very important to me personally as I struggle with um, anxiety disorder. Um, I've been struggling with it for about uh, five or six years now, but from where I started to where I am today is completely different. Because I've spoken about it, I've gotten help, I've spoken to therapists, I've researched, I've found every type of resource that I could find that will help me personally and I do understand that not all the resources and the help that I have will help everyone else. Everyone's very different and we have uh, so many resources out there that I think it should be posted everywhere that everyone can go through these resources and find what exactly pairs with their um, mental illness or mental health. Um, so I have listed off a few bullet points here. Um, so one thing is being told to keep my illness to myself. Again, that's around ending the stigma. I want that to be ended. I don't want people to feel that they can't express how they're feeling or how it's making them change as a person to someone so that person can give them the proper guidance and direction that they need. Um, how it changed me as a person, I put it as good and bad. Um, good, I believe um, having this mental illness has brought me here today putting me in front of this camera to speak to you guys, to become a, an advocate and a public speaker around mental health, that it's, it's not a bad thing. It doesn't define who you are. It doesn't, it doesn't change me as a person. I'm still myself. I'm still Taylor Allen, an outgoing, bubbly person. Yes, some days are better than others, but I choose to stand above the anxiety and not let the anxiety win. If I let the anxiety win, it's going to continue doing that to me. Um, understanding what exactly mental health and mental illness is, is a big thing for me as well. Um, understanding exactly how anxiety works and how it controls my body and the neurons in my brain, what they're sending to my body with that fight, flight and freeze um, era. Um, again, mental illness does not define who I am, I'm still me. Um, have I ever been a leader um, for the mental health movement and why is it uh, why is it good to have leaders for our youth? Um, I have yet, not yet been a leader for a mental health movement, but I'm hoping I can start today. I have spoke so passionately about mental health to so many of my friends and family and co-workers. They all know where I stand in this era and and helping end the stigma and helping guide those who are still stuck in the dark um, and to bring education. Uh, my goal with the Jack program is to educate young professionals who are currently graduating from university or even high school to show them and for them to make sure they have the proper understanding of um, the direction that they need to go to understand what their rights are within the working industry when it comes to mental health and understanding that management needs to be properly trained to help deal with and see the signs of their employees who are starting to struggle. Management needs that training to see those things and to do that um, to help the industry grow. I'm just making a video. Um, so I want to share the impact on mental health today uh, for our young employees. I also want to help guide those 
who may eventually be facing it in their careers and help um, educate them that um, when they do start to notice these things that they can go to their management and get the proper resources with their EAP program, um, the different apps that they should have um, ready for employees who do need it and to guide them in the right direction. Uh, we need to protect the minds of our young uh, professionals and help strengthen them for our future. They're going to be eventually taking over our positions and running the organizations and the world around us. So we need to make sure that they are fit and their minds are strong and prepared to do these things. So share a personal experience um, that you learned something about mental health. I would say my biggest thing is one day speaking with my therapist, she broke down step by step how my brain works when I'm anxious and what it's telling my body and that has probably helped me the most out of everything. It taught me how my body works and how it's reacting to what my, my brain is sending out um, and understanding that what my body is sending out isn't actually happening. So my body is going into that fight, 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 flight, and freeze movement. And um, I'm trying to protect myself from something that's not actually happening inside of me. My body's going to protection mode because it thinks that it's in danger. So for myself, understanding that it's not actually in danger has helped me um, bring myself back down to earth. And it has helped me understand that when I am anxious, I'm not actually anxious about anything. It's my body thinking that um, it needs to protect itself. But now that I know that, I can uh, talk myself down from these anxiety attacks um, where before I had no control of these. They would completely control everything I did and I hated it. And I'm so happy and proud of myself today that um, I'm at this point and that I can do these things for myself. But I also, again, I want to be able to inspire and bring these things to our other employees. Um, um, so this is probably the most important tool to my anxiety to help me be where I am today. Um, it has helped me grow, it has helped me be stronger and be more of the person that I want to be. Um, I want to thank you so much for taking the time to read, um, or sorry, <laughs> to listen to my video and watch it here today. Um, there are a few glitches here and there, and some people walk through the buildings wondering what I'm doing here. But I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to listen to me speak, and hopefully you guys can help me grow and develop to be a better leader and a better speaker throughout um, our time working together. Again, thank you very much. Thanks, guys.